by close associates of his to the tune of 150 million rand. It is our contention that this could be in contravention of the Prevention and Combating of Corruption Act, particularly looking at three sections of that act, but more importantly looking at how the act prohibits um, particularly public office bearers from awarding financial contracts for personal benefit. We have also laid a criminal charge against the Director General Dr. Sandi Lebutelezi for uh, a possible contravention of the PFMA, which states specifically that the Director General as the accounting officer is responsible and only them are they responsible for the awarding of financial contracts in a department. And we are of the view that if the Director General knew that the Minister was interfering uh, with this process, it was up to him to report the matter to Treasury as the Act says he should. And failing to do so was gross negligence. And so that is what we have come here to do. And we are aware that the SIU is currently investigating. However, we are also of the view that this is a separate uh, arm of the uh, criminal justice system and the South African Police Service, them too, need to concern themselves with this matter. Because we are also of the view that the president failed yesterday to take any form of leadership by suspending uh, Dr. Mkise pending the conclusion of the SIU investigation. We think that this is improper and we think that actually it could essentially form uh, undue political influence if the minister is in his post while in fact he is being investigated. I can take any questions. And what response have you gotten from the police? What are they saying? What is the case number? When is it? So the colonel here that I was dealing with has confirmed that in fact a case has been opened and a case number will be forwarded to me. He has also indicated that it will be going to the special arms here, um, the special uh, wing here in the Western Cape. And we will be, we will be keeping track on this, uh, on this case because we also are tired of uh, um, criminal cases that are laid against politicians and high-ranking officials in government that go nowhere. It's high time that the police minister himself also concerns himself with some of these things. The criminal justice system is literally our last line of defense and we, can no, we can't simply not have any faith in it. And so we still have faith that this matter will be handled without any undue political influence and that it will be looked at and will be looked at thoroughly. That was going to be my next question, that uh, you played several cases against several politicians and they seem not to go anywhere. As far as that is, Look, it's absolutely important that we don't give up on our institutions. Our institutions are there to protect the public. This is 150 million rand of public money, money that could have been spent uh, procuring vaccines, money that could have been spent um, bolstering up our health uh, response. And so we can't give up on our, our, on our institutions simply because we think that they do nothing. If you look at the spy tapes, it took over 10 years for the matter to finally get to court. And so we still have faith that um, this, the, the police will, will do what they need to do and we will keep putting pressure on them. Um, but what we cannot do is simply sit back and say that because it, you know, things have sort of died down in the past, that we're not going to use what is available to us from a constitutional point of view. Thank you. Can I one more? Cool. Thank you, everybody. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's Ms. Kohube there from the Democratic Alliance uh, talking about the processes they've just embarked on uh, this morning, opening a case against the Minister of Health and the Director General in the Department of Health. That's